I'm Kendall Phillips. I'm number 10 at Klein Oak. I want to give a shout out to all of us number 10s. We made it. <laughs> By the skin of our teeth, we made it and we're here. One of the most stressful moments of my life, my short, short life. Right? <laughs> uh, I want to speak from my heart here to those guys at those tables. They are fantastic and amazing. And Mr. Greeny, Dr. Greeny, <laughs> the first year you were principal, you, oh my gosh, my mom's filming him. Okay. <laughs> The first year you were here, you came over the announcements, and I remember this specifically, because I was actually in Miss Gibson's English class, and you said, what are you going to do to help the kids below you rise up and even surpass you? And a couple people snickered and went, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna stay on top. But that's not, that's not how we are at Klein Oak. Those kids were the minority, and as we kept growing, they stopped being like that. These kids are ambitious and intellectual, but in no way are they cutthroat. And I am so grateful for that, because everyone says it's a doggy dog world when you're Ivy bound and you're trying to get the best GPA, but I've never felt like I couldn't ask anyone for help. I never felt like I couldn't go into any teacher's classroom, be it 340, when for some reason they're still at school. I'm talking to you, Mrs. Rushing, please go home. <laughs> or whether it's at the ungodly hour of 6.30. There's a class at 6.30 a.m. and I took it. I took it. If that just shows you the level of dedication our teachers have, can you imagine what our students are like? One of my favorite moments was junior year, I had an advanced biology class, fifth period, and right before we had lunch. And every quiz, every test, our entire class would get together, haul up our bio textbooks, and just read, quiz each other, ask each other last minute questions, explain concepts. The camaraderie of being around your friends is one thing, but there's something super warm and special about being amongst people who think as beautifully diverse as you, but who still love what you love and they're learning and you're zipping facts and guess what? Glucose is actually like this. Can you believe it? It's, it's fantastic. That was, thank you guys so much for that. It, it was the best. And it got me a seven on my SL bio test. Thank you. <laughs> But just because we're a bunch of smart kids doesn't mean we don't know how to have fun. Uh, let's see, a, actually a bunch of us volunteered to stand up and get thrown water balloons at for the uh, carnival we just had. We raised a lot of money because there are a lot of people who are very angry. <laughs> if that gives you an idea of the kids that we have, this, this, is gonna, this is gonna surprise you. <laughs> at, at our grades, at our ceremony, everyone who turned to me once we got through, okay, 60, 50, oh, now we're at 20, and then we got to 11, and then we were at 10, and my friend turned to me and she was like, oh my God, you're in the 10. And there wasn't an ounce of malice in her eye, there wasn't anything, she was, genuinely happy and proud for me. Even though we were competing for the same schools, even though we were taking the same courses, she was proud of me. And when our salutatorian and valedictorian were announced, oh my gosh, everyone stood up and cheered as loudly as they could because we are so proud of you guys. We love you guys. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> the love I feel in my heart for learning, the love I feel for my classmates, the love I feel for Klein Oak. Thank you guys. Thank you, Oakum. Thank you.